What is up YouTube? So I made a very bad video yesterday, which means basically I didn't make a video at all. So uh, I would have liked to show you guys how we were tearing this off, but uh, my GoPro wasn't charged and I wasn't about to sit here with the camera the whole time and all that stuff. So I uh, didn't get to it, but basically we just took the, the tear off shovel and we run down with the stair step. And it pops all the nails. It comes off real good. You just kind of, we were just popping underneath it, throwing sheets. We double pitchforked for a while before we ended up just doing this because it was windy and there was felt everywhere. So uh, this is what we're doing. And then uh, we got to peel our, our black felt, the tar paper that's up to like right here. We'll uh, peel the rest of that and then get moving on that. So um, in the meantime, I apologize for making such a bad video. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to count my bundles for you today. So a lot of people wonder why shinglers care about being really fast and all that stuff. Because we get paid by the square. So every three bundles here, uh, what I pay is $19 a square. That's what I was always paid. So that's what I pay my guys. It's a fair rate around here in my area. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, there's 46 square here. And the goal is to get as many, you know, get as many proper shingles laid as you can. The keyword's proper. It's not about slapping up shingles and getting paid. That's not what I'm about. So you guys see world's fastest shingler. Everyone always wants to say quality, quality, quality. I agree. It does not count if if it's not quality. There's no glory in just slapping on squares with, you know, no pride in your work. Absolutely, absolutely not how I feel at all. So um, we're going to put on our drip edge and our gutter apron here. And then uh, we left the ice shield kind of loose at the bottom so that we could slide it under. We didn't have it uh, till two o'clock yesterday. We couldn't get nothing up here. So we had to have all of our plywood sheets brought up on the crane. And uh, yeah, so we had to get it all in one swing. That's why I've got some extra sheets up here just so that we didn't have to try to get any up here. You know, if you can't see how tall this is, I mean, this is a three-story building, so wouldn't be real fun pushing them up there. It was real windy yesterday. But yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna get to pound town and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll put the GoPro on for a little bit of it's down there charging. Otherwise I'd have it on right now and, uh, get some good footage for you guys. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you we're scumbags and we got a really late start. So you see what I just got busted out here? Boy kept helping with the starter and stuff too. It is 10 o'clock on the dot. And I got my watch on my right hand cause I'm doing an experiment to see if shooting all these 10,000 nails today if it's going to tell me I got like a 60,000 steps. So we'll see if uh, how accurate this watch is. All right. I'm moving along here. I'm getting ready to throw the GoPro on. Um, I ran out all them tops. Boy Cub ran out the lower section. We're getting ready to switch because I'm um, I, I keep pushing them down and it's not it's not working out well so I need to run out the bottoms um, I looked at the last video just to get you guys my start time I started the last um, the one before the 10 o'clock one at 9 30 so I got no reason to lie to you guys I'm gonna do everything honest today um, this isn't about being super fast this is about sharing the things that I figured out over the years okay so um, my GoPro's only got 40 some minutes of uh, space on it so I'm not sure how much I'm going to use, but I'm going to strap that thing on and then uh, go to town here. We do those back downs um, after the fact. It's real easy. Worked really well over there. So um, I'm going to get to it, okay? I'm going to have to put on some drip edge there. We already got the gutter apron down on that, that side over there. And uh, yeah, I just got some starter and some shangling to do. Oh, I'm going to show you guys. The reason why I like to run out one bundle runs, and it comes from uh, doing a whole lot of these big buildings. That's 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 how I really got good at shingling was a whole lot of big buildings, a shit ton of them. So we were doing 660 square warehouses, uh, 700 square apartment buildings. Most of the buildings about this size, some of them a little bit bigger, 70 squares a piece, and that's where I got a lot of this experience and. Uh, that's where I came up with this method. So a lot of people keep saying, go all the way to the top, all the way to the top. Then you end up dragging shingles back down, okay? So if you pick a one bundle run and just run it, not only does it give you a goal, something that you can actually measure. So you could, you could turn around and you can measure here. Okay, I've got so many pieces of starter. I know that 
that if I got nine pieces of starter, I've got nine one bundle runs that I can do. Okay, which means I've got a three square run here. Let me try to knock that out. Gives you a little bit of motivation for that, okay? Um, and then on top of that, you never have to drag shingles around. So that, that really helps. So it, it's, it's worth it to do one bundle runs or two bundle runs. Like I would be doing two bundle runs if I was shingling on this side all by myself. Two bundle runs all day and I would come back, trying to not get you guys dizzy here. I know I'm bad at that and I'm working on it. Then I would come back for that last row and do all these pipes all at one time, okay? But for right now, uh, I'm just gonna take over on the bottoms. We're gonna just run out, you know, 20, 22 shingles, whatever comes in the bundle there, and uh, all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna fill in my end, and then I'll probably take over uh, where Boy Cub is, or actually I might let him uh, continue on, because it'll be kind of stepped out like that, except I'm, I'm faster, so it'll probably be a few more runs. Let him finish that out, and I'll get going on those tops. Maybe work over here if this is all dried in. We'll see where we're at, but all right, I've done enough talking. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna throw on that GoPro now. Big fat chaw because I'm weak, and then a GoPro. All right, bye. Hey, call James when you need help with the brone vent and the, if you need help with the pipe boot. Hey, I opened that bundle for you. Oh, you seen it? this happen?
stealing one of your shingles, boy cub. I screwed up my pattern by dropping a shingle off. sabotage myself. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, uh, no. Nobody's done it all day, now, now I'm filming. No? Uh, whatever you want to do, bud. I'm in kill mode. I think we might be able to get this damn thing done today. I don't. I, we don't even need them. in the dumpster.
gonna get a little piece of wood here. Must have used a weird number of nails here on that run. Oh, what the hell? I was like, this don't make no sense. Look at that, there's a whole coil in here. There we go. Messing up my coil nail setup, making me look like a fool. I was like, there's not, not a chance. Run out right here. These ones are starting to walk away from me anyway. Oh, starting to feel that back yet me a little bit. Dude, <laughs> that was beautiful. Done means it's almost out of nails. That sound there. Can't hear you. Can't hear you over all this money. Every one of them nails that goes off is 10 cents. 10 cents for you, more like 30 cents for me. What are you wooing about? You're getting out late three to one right now. I'm fucking going way faster than you. Yeah, okay. Oh, don't. You look like the type to do Adderall and be allergic to peanuts. See if I can get you square in the glasses this time. I thought I was about to do it to myself. That would have been the first time I ever actually shot a hose.
make sure this don't happen again. Good. Short bundle. Oh, I can run it through here. That's just fine. The reason I did that is so I know where my seams are going to land, so I can do this. Leave a gap there, put one there, and then my seam will land on something nice. Oh, does this section need a little gutter right when it does? I know, all super low and shit. I've seen all that. And... Take lunch whenever you want. I'm staying until this uh, video's over. Where's my damn OJ? Oh. Let's do it. They're all rooting for you, boy cub. They talk about you on a regular basis. I get more comments for you than I do me, man. <laughs> What'd you do with my nips? My little nippers. Here's some. Couldn't get this gutter apron off because this uh damn gutter is so uh loose and everything. The fascia was trying to pop.
I need more hose. Thank you. Probably need almost all I got. There we go. If it covers, it covers. Yeah. What? Well, no, it don't. Yeah, you gotta put one more under that. Almost screwed up my coil count. Works out perfect. Use just the right amount of nails over there. shorties.
I used them all up. I threw them all. Damn, y'all gonna take all day on that or what? I got the I got the snips over here somewhere. Two are. Yeah. You better continue that stair step. You better continue that stair step properly. We ain't fighting that backward stair step the whole roof. You know how to do it? Let me know when you get up to it. Don't bother James no more. He spent way too much time on you. Not knowing ass. Watch some of my videos. It's in there. You gotta search for it in that two hour long video. You're not up to it yet. Run your bundle up. What?
Yep. Oh. John? Yeah. What are you talking about? Dude, you saw that? You filmed the video of me doing almost the same size section and shingling it in the amount of time he's already spent back there. You remember that? Hour and 20 minutes it took me. Tear it off, dry it in, and shingle. It'd take him two hours to just at least get it dried in and shingled. He's been back there a long time. Or get it dried in, I mean. Three hours. That's what I'm saying. It should have took two, but it's fine. I'm not complaining. He's not suffering, though. It's easy shit. Yeah. You guys can. I gotta. I gotta run out this video. It's 11:50, Dre. It's almost noon. What? That shiner? It looks like I see one gleaming from back there. No, it wasn't. I seen something right here. I'm in Poundtown. I can finish this whole roof by myself. 
I plan on putting 25 or 30 on today. It's clear he ain't coming. Fuck it. 11.56. So you guys can see. Let's see what we gotta do here. Oh, absolutely nothing. It works out perfect. Time for the drip. I'll just grab one for right now. Go ahead and hit my angle. If y'all don't know the angle on a 412, you start right here. Go about half inch or so in. Take that off there. Boom. That's all I need. You always want to make sure your ice shield's cut back and your felt because it'll hold it out. Bye! I was exposed a little bit of this tar line. Someone said, you're not supposed to miter your starter. Look, now there's tar line for it. Oh God, breaking rules. Let me see, okay. All right, it is 12.05. We're just now taking lunch. My uh, GoPro died, I'm not sure yet where. But this pocket, I usually just grab some fat tabs whatever I get my hands on. So I'm just gonna count them for you guys real quick. 9.35 to noon is when I shingled. Doing some metal and all that stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Two and a half hours with aluminum. Yeah. That uh, means I'm averaging probably at least four square an hour today. Roughly. All right. Tune back in for the second half, boys.